Hi, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Canva website to an existing domain. Uh, you may have a domain name that's currently not used and you'd like to connect it, connect your Canva website to it. Um, instead of using, you know, the URL that you're assigned by Canva, as you can see, the URL here is quite messy. And if you want your website to at least look fairly professional, uh, you, you know, to align with your brand or the name of your business, you would like to have uh, uh, a domain name that is dedicated to uh, your brand or your business. So if you'd like to do that, I'll just quickly run you through. Okay, so first things first, I will open the website. This was previous, previously designed, um, and I, I used this for the tutorial in the last video. Um, so this is the website. And if you click, if I click edit design, this is what it looks like. So I'll click publish website. And this is the URL that has been assigned by Canva, which looks very ugly. It's, it just doesn't look well if you're trying to align the website to your brand or your business. Uh, the name of the business uh, is Winners Chinese Takeaway, and this is what the URL looks like, so this doesn't look good. So if you want to change that to point it to your domain name, if you have an existing one, fine. Also, if you could, um, they give you the option to purchase a new domain. So I'll just quickly go through that with you. So to do that, just again, they've made it very simple. So click on Purchase New Website if that's what you want. Uh, click continue now if you don't have a domain name you can search and register on Canva so if I want uh, winners Chinese take away that's a very long domain okay so it says winners Chinese takeaway.com is available so I'll click what you want enter your first name your last name uh, your contact details, your simple details, and then click continue. Then um, it gives you a preview of what things look like. So this is the URL. So just take that away if you want. So there you go. Uh, basically, it was the name of the website that was put after the slash button so I had to remove that so now it's just winners Chinese takeaway .com. so if you go in the browsers tab which is um, what you find over here whenever people open websites uh, you find the name of the websites so you, you could adjust that by just typing in the name of the business which is winners Chinese takeaway and here is where you upload the favicon is that what it's called and if you have something you've designed for your website, just upload it here and then click done. But I don't have that yet. And then the description that comes in when people search for your business, the search results. And then when you're ready, just click continue. And then basically just make a payment. And that's it. It registers the domain name for you. And it will uh, Canva will send you uh, an email, so you need to make some verifications for everything to be in in order, and that's just about it. Okay, so if you want to point your Canva website to an existing domain, uh, if you have like a a domain name that you want to point this website to uh, all you need to do is uh, click change because it's currently on covers canvas URL so click change uh, scroll down here it says use existing domain click that and then click continue now the name of the domain that you want to uh, connect Canva uh, your Canva website to you need to enter it here so the, the one I want to use is my random jottings.com and then click continue. So 
Now, uh, Canva will tell you that it needs to that you need to enter some DNS records. So all you need to do, uh, click continue. Now, here it says delete existing records because they, they've put it in simple stages for you to execute. So the first thing you have to do is go to uh, uh, the domain name provider. Mine is FastHost. And the domain, like I said, that I want to use is called My Random Jotins. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click My Random Jotins. So if, if so I also just click, uh, then I'll click Configure Advanced DNS. So this is my DNS records. There's nothing there to delete. Uh, the reason why Canva um, suggest that you should delete any records is your the do domain you want to connect to your Canva website may be pointed to a different website. So in that case, you need to delete any records. So I don't have any connected to mine, so I'm going to click continue. So the next thing to do is add text record. So this is the first one in, I think, out of two. Remember, you have the tick um, icons next to the tasks that you've um, completed. So the next thing to do is add text record. So I'm going to bring that down. So I'm going to add this first text record. So copy. I'll go to my fast host. So look for text record. Text, 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 text. So that's a text record. So here it's very simple. Add a text record. I'm going to paste that and then go back to Canva and copy the second. Uh, it says value points, value stroke points to. I've copied that and then I'm going to go back and paste the value. As you can see, um, the domain name providers always make it easy. It's not just fast hosts, they, they make it easy to do this. So I'm going to click save. So that's done. I'm going to go back. So text record added. So I'm going on to the next one. It says add a record. So I'm going to copy the name stroke host stroke alias copy. I'm going to go and look for a record. So that's a record. Click add. Paste. And then copy value stroke points to. Oh, sorry. And then paste and then click save. I'm going to do that for the second A record. Copy. A record. Add A record. And then copy the value stroke points to Paste, click save and then it's done so I've completed everything so I've added the text record and the a records and then all I need to do is now click connect domain and then publish but before I click publish I need to review the settings. As you can see, uh, myrandomjottins.com is the name of the website. However, in the URL, because the name of the website that I gave on my Canvas site is Winners Chinese Takeaway, so I need to click here to edit and take this, everything that's written after the forward slash, just take it off. And then preview, there you go. So I've changed the URL. Now go to the browser tab preview, click on that, change the name to maybe my random buttons since that's the domain name. And I'm assuming you want your domain name to be the same as you, the name of your website. So my random buttons. Actually, it should be my, it should be in words, my random. So, the name of the website and the URL now 
are similar so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the website description as it is and I'm just gonna click publish so once that is published uh, it may take some time to propagate uh, usually they tell you uh, probably about 72 hours but it doesn't take that long so we'll check back uh, to see that everything uh, it's been connected properly okay so now let's see if the DNS has been properly propagated um, I'll just type in the website www.myrandomjottons.com press enter there you go so uh, the website is not pointing away from canvas domain to um, my existing domain so that's basically how you can um, either buy your own domain name on Canva or point uh, your website to your existing domain. Um, I hope that has been helpful. Uh, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe for more Canva tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.